next seminar on the topic characteristics of mathematics the characteristics of mathematics that makes it unique among other subjects are logical sequence structure positions abstractness symbolism so i am going to uh, um, uh, take seminar in the last uh, two things that is abstractness and symbolism abstractness mathematics is abstract in the sense that mathematics does not deal with actual objects in much the same way as physics so as we all know uh, in physics we can uh, touch the things uh, so in mathematics we can't uh, do that so but in fact mathematical questions as a rule cannot be settled by direct appeal to experiment so in as in physics in physics we can take every question to a uh, to question directly to an experiment but in maths we can't do that so uh, mathematics is an abstract one Uh, for example, Euclid's line are supposed to have no width and his points no size. So, uh, by, from this we can understand that uh, no such objects can be found in the physical world. Uh, so, Euclid's geometry describes an imaginary world which resembles the actual world uh, sufficiently for it is a useful for it is a useful study for survivors, carpenters, and engineers. So, uh, as uh, the Euclid's geometry is an imaginary world, but it resembles the actual world sufficiently. So, this is a very useful for uh, useful study for the survivors, carpenters, and engineers. Uh, next one is infinity is something that we can we can never experience, and yet it is the central concept of mathematics. As we all know, we didn't, uh, we we can we can never experience that uh, in this infinity, um, and yet it is a central concept. But uh, this is our central concept of mathematics. Uh, our whole thinking is based on the assumption. Uh, so likewise, we can say that there are infinitely many numbers. So, but uh, so that um, counting never uh, need never stop. Uh, like this we can say that there are infinitely many fractions between 0 and 1 um, there are infinitely many points on the circumference of the circle so by we can from this we can understand that our whole thinking is based on the assumption so we can, we have no way of knowing uh, is uh, we all know that uh, we we we, uh, we, can, we have no way to know and justify that so uh, we can we can't observe and count all these things so infinitely then uh, it is a uh, uh, concept corresponding to an object uh, that we can uh, we have we, we have seen or likely uh, to see so uh, uh, infinitely is uh, such a concept um, uh, we can't see that uh, so uh, this becomes an abstract one yes uh, now uh, if um, uh, someone uh, whose thinking is uh, was essentially physical means uh, they refuse to believe uh, in negative numbers uh, because they will say that we, are, uh, we can't uh, have a quantity less than anything so likewise um, such persons uh, will refuse to believe that uh, square root of minus one so uh, the like uh, the children form concepts out of experience as uh, we all know that the children will be uh, will form their concepts out of experience and that lead to a certain structures for them so that uh, furthermore we, uh, we can say that the same structure uh, should if possible be uh, meet in different uh, situations uh, uh, is we can say that uh, same situations uh, same thing structures will be in different uh, they will see in the different situations uh, from uh, likewise they will be uh, learning the uh, numbers uh, uh, concepts uh, so, uh, when uh, the children uh, uh, will be eventually learn there uh, that there are something uh, about for uh, we can say that, uh, they will learn the same num uh, numbers from the different uh, um, uh, uh, objects. So here I have uh, four beads, four chairs, four chocolates, and four friends. So here the numbers are uh, uh, same, but the things are different. From the different things, they will they learn the. Uh, numbers um, uh, num uh, numbers in this forms uh, so uh, this process of abstraction this process uh, come from their experience of dealing with discrete objects so from discrete objects um, of experiences um, they will be uh, experience of dealing with discrete objects they will uh, uh, this gives a process of abstraction for them and they will be learning the numbers
uh, is however uh, anyway the all mathematical concepts cannot be learned uh, through experience with concrete objects from the concrete objects we can't learn all the mathematical concepts some concepts can be learned only through their definitions and that they may not have concrete counterparts to be extracted from uh, so um, uh, the, uh, 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 some concepts uh, uh, we have to learn um, by their definitions and uh, the, that may not have concrete counterparts to be extract, extracted from uh, so the most of the mathematical concepts um, will be have uh, uh, that concepts uh, such as they will uh, concepts which without concretization that concepts will, uh, will, uh, will not have the concretization so the, that will be of uh, abstractness Uh, we can uh, like um, there are many concepts that show uh, that uh, uh, that shows abstractness. So the concept of prime numbers, concept of probability, concept of function, concept of limit, concept of continuous function. So these are all the things um, we uh, we can learn only um, by the definitions. And this is not possible to uh, provide uh, concrete objects. We can't uh, provide concrete objects to um, uh, correspond to such concepts. Uh, so uh, we can uh, we should learn the, the, these things abstract we can we should learn these things uh, through the definitions alone here you given some concepts of prime numbers probability function limit and continuous functions so uh, even those concepts which one argues to be concrete are also abstract is, uh, there some people can say one uh, can argue that uh, concepts uh, such as point, line, ray, diagonal, uh, circle, uh, many things like that, uh, they can can be learned through observations of concrete instances and therefore they are concrete. Some, uh, some, uh, someone can say like that, but a line drawn on a board or a dot point, uh, a figure of a circle are all mere representations. Uh, these are the mere representations of the concept. So these are all the mere representation of the concept. So we can't. Uh, so they and they are not objects themselves. So they they are just the mere representation of the concepts. They are not objects themselves. So we can uh, we can say that these are abstract things. So uh, if a student learning a concept by mere observation of such instances can form wrong concepts. Sometimes uh, this uh, may lead to wrong concepts. They uh, there is. Uh, They, are, they can wrongly understand that so uh, for example a student can identify a figure which is not as a uh, not quite a circle as a circle so if a child has learned the concept by its definition as a closed curve on which every point is equidistant from a fixed point called center so uh, from this uh, the child looks for the correct uh, condition for a curve to be a circle so uh, for, the, for, for uh, this we have to uh, whenever it is possible we have to always advise this is always advisable to provide them suitable concrete experiences uh, the, that will lead to them a generalization forming an abstract concept so that gives them a um, uh, correct uh, uh, concept correct meaning so uh, next one is symbolism uh, so symbolism is um, the language for communication of mathematical ideas is largely in uh, terms of symbols. So in mathematics, uh, uh, for communicating mathematical ideas, we uh, we use the symbols and words alone, which everybody cannot understand. We, uh, uh, everybody can easily understand this. So this is there is no popular terminology for uh, talking about mathematics. Uh, so. Uh, for example, the distinction between a number um, and a numeral uh, could help the list. So here a number is a property. Number means it is a property of a set. That property tells how many elements are there in a set. So in, uh, but a numeral, numer what is mean by numerals? Numeral is a name or a symbol uh, used to represent a number. So numeral is a thing that, uh, 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 that, that, that will represent a number. So here, um, uh, essentially to distinguish between number and a numeral is to distinguish between a thing and a name of thing. Here we have the number is a thing and the numeral is a name of the thing. So next one is, uh, things considered are physical entities. Uh, if, uh, if the things considered physical entities, 
they're making this uh, distinction this little difficult but the things are abstract entities uh, and the, ma uh, uh, the uh, that is uh, dealing with ma mathematics um, is more difficult to make the distinction between the name of the thing and its uh, reference that is the thing itself next one is uh, since numbers are abstractness and cannot be uh, perceived of any of the five senses they are often confused with their names uh, so the teachers ought to be very careful to use uh, correct terms since this helps the children to learn and think better so uh, uh, the teacher should be very careful um, in using the correct terms so that the children can learn easily and they can learn and then they can think better uh, so next one is this is only one item that is the name uh, name the thing and the name of the thing we have learned no that is the uh, and uh, that, that is only one thing uh, in regard to position of language so there are many others such as distinguishing between the line and um, a picture of a line the point and the dot used to represent a point to uh, like that many things are there so next one is the mathematical talk and system making use of mathematical symbols so uh, understanding mathematical uh, mathematics is uh, we have to realize what the symbol corresponds to a structure that has been abstracted to uh, uh, realize uh, to understand mathematics we have to realize the symbol uh, symbol uh, symbols and what symbolism corresponds to the structure uh, and that structure that has been abstracted uh, so uh, they, uh, we have to understand uh, to understand mathematics um, we have to realize the symbolism so that uh, it is enough for the that it, this is not enough for the children to understand mathematics so this is not enough for the children to understand mathematics it is necessary for them to speak mathematics uh, so they need to speak them speak uh, speak mathematics so the process of speaking uh, here given the process of uh, speaking mathematical language so the first step is an abstraction process and that is followed by the symbolization process and that is followed by the learning of the use of the symbols uh, is the danger is that the symbols uh, have to accord them same from meaning as other words uh, symbols currently used in the language used by the children so here the currently the symbols uh, we will use are uh, used by the children have the same meaning but in the mathematics we can't expect that so the amount of experience which lies behind the vocabulary uh, used by the children on the own language is enormous but uh, you know, we can't expect this from the mathematics so to get uh, uh, is, uh, to uh, the mathematics so um, the symbolic or even my verbal uh, statements of a concept are meaningless is uh, as um, if the symbolism uh, is uh, um, uh, not related to the real and concrete uh, so that uh, becomes meaningless so to get meaningful symbol uh, symbols should be uh, symbolism should be related to some real and concrete Uh, if uh, children are represented with symbols if uh, we are giving uh, if we are um, uh, 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 teaching the sim uh, symbols uh, before the children uh, if we are teaching the symbols to the children before they have uh, abstract um, they have before uh, they have abstracted the concepts that symbols represent so the only way they can deal with them is associatively so that they, they, they treat them as nonsense and learn by root they will be uh, learned by root uh, the, they will learn the numbers by uh, learning root learning so in arithmetic and algebra uh, algebra uh, as we all know that arithmetic and algebra we will be um, uh, we will not deal with facts uh, but with symbols we just uh, deal with symbols so in um, uh, the child uh, if the child is poor in mathematics um, uh, they will be unable to see the uh, what concept the symbol stands for and what the concepts themselves are abstracted from and hence the what the symbols communicate so the therefore they will go and they they can't understand what the symbols are communicating so um, this is this will be difficult for the poor uh, children who, who are in poor in mathematics so symbols of mathematics constitute a language which is gradually developed by um, or for the people so this is uh, this is constituted by the uh, people and for the people so long periods of training 
so if the uh, children is poor in mathematics the long periods of training and uh, with, uh, the, this should be patience and endurance are needed to make the student uh, feel at home with this language so this leads to the uh, uh, children who are poor in mathematics to a better level so the training that mathematics provides and the use of symbols uh, is an excellent preparation for other sciences uh, the training that is uh, uh, provided by the mathematics that in the use of symbols will lead to a uh, excellent preparation for other sciences it will be helpful for other sciences to study other sciences it's here uh, the i have uh, given the example that is the use of symbols uh, makes the mathematical language more elegant and persuasive than other language so uh, here is an example the um, um, communicative law of addition and mathematic uh, multiplication in real number system can be stated in the verbal form if uh, this can be stated in them the communicative law of addition and multiplication in real number system uh, in the verbal form we can write uh, like this the the addition and multiplication of two real numbers is independent of the order in which they are com combined so we can in the verbal form we can write this uh, like like this so in the concise form we can write in this way a, a plus b is equal to b plus a and a into b is equal to b into a where a and b are elements of r uh, in this form we can write in the mathematics so uh, here i have given some examples uh, sorry uh, symbols that almost all mathematical statements relations operations are expressed using mathematical symbols so we all use uh, in, the ma uh, in mathematical statements uh, we all use the relations operations uh, um, in the uh, in the mathematical statement uh, so uh, i have given plus minus multiplication addition less than greater than concurrent less than equal to summation square root it's law and so there are many uh, symbols uh, is uh, to uh, the actually this is highly impossible to uh, comprehensive list of mathematical symbols there are many things so if anyone wants to read and communicate ma mathematical language effectively they need to uh, they need to be well versed in mathematical symbols and they definite uses uh, so that only they can uh, easily read and communicate a mathematical language effectively so um, these are my references thank you ma'am